Hey, what's going on? My name is Carlos and welcome back to Tech Beam, where today we're going to talk about three things you might not have known you can do with the escape key on your Mac. So let's get started. You've likely used the escape key on your Mac before to exit out of full screen apps, or you may have even used it with that combination of command option escape to open up the force quit menu for those applications that just don't seem to want to respond anymore. There are, however, a few other things we can do with the escape key, and they work both on a Mac with a physical escape key, as well as the brand new Macs that have the Apple touch bar. So the first trick we'll talk about is when you're online and you want to get rid of the cursor. Maybe you're looking through some photos or reading an article and the mouse is just getting in the way. Well, all you have to do is hit the escape key and the cursor will automatically disappear. Now, if you want to get it back, all you have to do is move your fingers on the trackpad or move the mouse. And additionally, ever since OS X El Capitan, you're able to wiggle your finger multiple times and the cursor will actually grow in size in case you have lost where it is on the screen. Our second trick has to do with Spotlight Search. So maybe you're searching something with Spotlight and it doesn't have any results. Well, instead of having to backspace all the way back to clear out what's in the box, all you have to do is simply hit the escape key. It'll clear everything out and it makes it super simple for you to restart your search without having to exit all the way out of Spotlight. And the third trick I want to talk about is called putting the tab back. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari let you drag tabs out. Now, this is great because you can start a new window, but if you're like me and you have a lot of tabs open at a time, sometimes it can be easy to grab the wrong one. So all you have to do is if you realize you grabbed the wrong tab is hit the escape key. Now, one caveat to this is though, you cannot release the mouse button before you hit the escape key. If you've drugged your tab out and it's already in a new window, you've let go of the mouse, then this trick won't work. Now, one other cool thing about this trick is that this will actually work on your PC as well. And there you go, three new ways to use the escape key on your Mac. If you know of any other cool tricks you can use the escape key for, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. My name is Ben Carlos, and we'll see you next time on TechBeam.